Hello, and welcome to my channel. I don't own any of the Heikaiyu characters or music or anything other than the plot. This doesn't in any way describe how the Heikaiyu characters act. It is just for fun, so don't take any of this seriously. All of this is happening IRL unless said otherwise. Enjoy. I, I like Kagiyama. What? Why? But he is already with Kindaichi. Why would he have feelings for me? I am the worst. I am the absolute worst. I should stay away from them. Or else I will ruin their relationship. I cannot be near them. But. I don't want that. I cannot go back to how things were. I don't want them out of my life. I cannot do that. I don't want to lose them. What should I do? What should I do? W why are you still silent? I am just surprised. Mm. D does it disturb you? No. Kindaichi replies without a second thought. Akira, I am serious, I am just surprised, but I am not bothered by this. Oh okay. Are you planning on telling him? I don't know. Kunami glances behind Kindaichi at Kagiyama's back. I think Kagiyama has feelings for both of us. Fuck. How did he know? I am doomed. I am so doomed. But how did he notice? How? I was so obvious. Wasn't I? But I cannot stop myself from blushing when I am around them. I just like them. Is this how things will end between us again? I won't be able to be with them again. But Kunami said. I am the worst. The absolute worst. You Taro? Yeah? Do you still like Kagiyama? Fuck. Kindaichi also likes me? But how? I don't understand anything? Aren't they dating? How can they date and like me at the same time? I know about the poly thing, but I don't understand it. Why is this so complicated? I don't understand anything. Yes. Say what now? So, Kunami and Kindaichi like me too. But they are dating? Ugh. Both boys turn and stare at Kagiyama, who shifts slightly in his bed before freezing. Oops, that was loud. I hope they didn't notice. I don't want to talk about this now. Please ignore me. Please believe I am still asleep. Please. There is a lot, and I am not ready to talk about all of this now. I cannot talk about this now at all. I don't even understand half of what is going on. I, I think we have to sleep and continue this conversation tomorrow. Yet. Yeah. Please make the earth swallow me before morning. Saturday, October 27, 2012, around 5 a.m. Kagiyama rubs his eyes and stretches his arm as a yawn emits from his mouth before sighing. He turns in his bed and sees both Kindaichi and Kunami sleeping, making a smile creep on his face. He watches the two for a few seconds before memories of their conversations of last night flooded his head. Kagiyama's breath stops at his throat as he sits up slowly in his bed. I cannot face them. At least not yet. Kagiyama gets up slowly from his bed, making sure not to disturb the two boys as he changes into his gym clothes. He opens the door of his room gradually, but it emits a loud creak making him freeze. He snaps his head to the boys as he watches Kunami turn around and mumble something in his sleep before Kagiyama glances at Kindaichi, who is still sleeping. Kagiyama's tense shoulders fall as he sighs and leaves the room leaving the creaking devil open behind him. It was just Kunami. I know this small creak won't wake him up no matter what. I can rearrange my entire house furniture, and he won't even budge. But Kindaichi, on the contrary, will wake up if a mosquito hummed near him. Good thing he didn't wake up. Kagiyama stands near his room, trying to calm his racing heart before he starts walking to his sister's room. He opens the door to his sister's room slowly and smiles. Oh, you are up early as usual. Yeah, I want to go on a morning run. Ugh, where do you even get the energy? Kagiyama just shrugs as he sits near her. Are your friends still asleep? Kagiyama nods. Um, do you want me to help you to get up? No, just push the wheelchair near me, and I will get up alone. Okay. I will prepare breakfast before I leave for my appointment, okay? Do you want anything specific? No. All right. 
Just leave now so you can come back before your friends wake up. Yet. Yeah. I don't want to come back. Kagiyama places the wheelchair near his sister's bed before leaving the house. Ugh. Kagiyama grunts as he starts his jog toward the nearby park. What should I do? I cannot face them. I just cannot. Kunami already knows how I feel from interacting with me alone. So he will know that I overheard their conversation last night. Even though I believe they knew yesterday, I was awake. Otherwise, they wouldn't have stopped their talk midway. Ugh. What should I do? I don't want to go back home or face them. Kagiyama continues running in the park for the next hour. Oh. Kajiyama. Kagiyama stops and turns around as he watches an overenergized Hinata dragging a sleepwalking Tsukishima with him. Eh, hi. Are you here to practice? Yeah, is Tsukishima awake? No. He is. EHH. Waking up before 10 on a Saturday should be illegal. What? Hinata screams, making Tsukishima grunt at his boyfriend. Where do you even have all this energy? Oh, right. The food you eat needs to go somewhere, and it isn't your brain, obviously. Ugh, K. Or hide. Hinta pouts making, Tsukishima chuckles and pinches Hinata's chin. Ugh, Kiai. How can humans even process anything this early? EHH. Kagiyama, entertain Hinata for a while until I rest. He has been dragging me around since 4 a.m. And unlike both of you, I am human. I cannot stay here for so long. Ugh, why? This is the only time I ask you for something, and you cannot even do it. Um, Kindaichi and Kumini are sleeping over, and I snuck out for my run before they woke up. It is rude if I leave them alone. I want to. I cannot. I know I have to return soon. Earth to Kagiyama. Um, yeah? I know you have a short attention span, but it is getting worse. Eh. W what did you say? Are the three of you dating? What? Kagiyama screams, making Tsukishima step back as he rubs his ear. No, I see, but damn, you are loud. Tsukishima glances around before he frowns. Where did the orange hair disappear? Tsukishima sighs before he starts walking away. W wait. I know. I will come back and discuss whatever is disturbing you. But I need to find my lost puppy first. Just stay here because I am not searching for you after finding Hinata. Kagiyama nods as Tsukishima walks away. Kagiyama sighs and sits on a nearby bench. I know I can trust Tsukishima. I will tell him. He. He might help me since I really don't know what to do. A few minutes pass before Hinata and Tsukishima appears again. Hinata walks silently and sits on the ground in front of Kagiyama as Tsukishima sits near him. So, what is the problem? I. Kagiyama, you can tell us anything. Kagiyama nods before he clears his throat and starts playing with his fingers. I just don't know where to start. Does it have to do with Kindaichi and Kunami? Yes. Okay. Did something happen between the three of you? No, but. But yes? Kind of. Huh? What happened? Kunami knows I like both of them. But they are dating. I know. EHH. Did you tell him? No. Then how do you know that he knows? Did he question you? Also no. Then what happened? I overheard him tell Kindaichi that he thinks I like both of them. Shit. How did Kindaichi react? He was surprised. You are in a sticky situation, man. B but that isn't all. Ugh, what else? They both said, they like me back too. Um, the thing is, I believe they know that I overheard them. And I don't know how to face them. So you ran away. I didn't. Tsukishima raises an eyebrow making Kagiyama stop mid-sentence. Are you sure? Okay, fine. I just don't know how to face them. Listen, I know it sounds crazy, but if you like them and they like you back, why don't you date? I want that, but I am afraid I will ruin what we have now. And I don't want that. Kagiyama lets out a loud sigh before standing up. I have to go back home before Miwa gets worried. I don't know what I will do about Kunami and Kei and Daichi. But if they bring the topic up, we will discuss it. And if not, 
will you ignore it? Kagiyama nods, making Tsukishima shake his head before standing and putting a hand on Kagiyama's shoulder. I believe you should discuss this matter with them no matter whether they brought it up or you do. Um. Kagiyama nods before saying bye and going back home. Kagiyama walks into the kitchen and sees Miwa and Kaindaichi preparing breakfast. You are finally back. That was a long jog. I met some friends and, mm. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, I have to leave now. Have fun, boys. She dreams as she exits the entrance door. Um. Kagiyama starts setting up the table as Kaindaichi continues cooking. Why didn't you wake me up to go on a jog together? I wanted to avoid you. Um, I, I didn't want to disturb you. I, I will see if I can wake Kunimi up. Kagiyama takes a step, but Kaindaichi pulls him back. It is only eight. Akira will end you if you wake him now. Let's eat now and then wake him up after ten. Okay. Kagiyama sits and starts eating, avoiding eye contact with Kaindaichi. Good job, Tobio. Make the situation more awkward so he will notice. Ugh, why am I like this? I cannot think of anything. Ugh, capital I. Are you alright? Kagiyama? Um, yes? Is everything fine? Um. A loud bang startles both boys before Kagiyama gets up, and Kaindaichi follows him. Akira, are you alright? Yet. Yeah. Kunimi rubs his head slowly as he yawns and stands up. What happened? I forgot how to use my feet. E-H-H. Oh okay, do you want to eat breakfast? Sure. What is the time? It is about 9. Earth is ending today, I see. Kaindaichi chuckles as he walks back to the kitchen while shaking his head. The blanket around Kunimi's feet tangles him again, but Kagiyama catches him before he falls again. Thanks. Kunimi kicks the blanket off his feet while still holding Kagiyama's arm tightly before he walks to the bathroom. Kagiyama stands shook for a few seconds before he walks to the kitchen. Akira didn't lie when he said he did not function properly this early. But how can someone forget how to use his feet? Kagiyama tilts his head as Kaindaichi laughs while shrugging. That is an Akira specialty. Kunimi walks into the kitchen and collapses on the chair near Kagiyama. Kaindaichi places a cup of milk in front of him with a sandwich, but Kunimi pouts. What? Can you feed me? I don't want to move. Sure. Kaindaichi smiles and picks up the sandwich and places it in front of Kunimi's mouth as the latter takes a bite and starts to chew as his eyes fight to stay open. Akira, don't sleep while eating. Um. Kunimi gulps before he takes a sip from his milk and places his head on the table. Kaindaichi shakes his head and starts to caress Kunimi's hair slowly. Why you you, if you continue playing with my hair, I will fall asleep. Kaindaichi removes his hand from Kunimi's hair before taking a bite of his food. Akira. Kunimi turns his head and takes another bite. How can I be selfish and get involved in their relationship? I know Tsukishima said I have to bring the topic up if they don't. But I cannot. I cannot be selfish and ruin what they have now. I just cannot. Thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed it. Later guys.